Welcome to Austin EV Only. Today we're going to go through the TBS Expert Pro Battery Monitor. Whether you currently own this monitor or you're thinking about purchasing it, we are going to review the usage and functionality of this monitor. Finally, I'll conclude with my thoughts on purchasing this monitor and whether I regret or recommend it for you. Hey folks, I thought I'd record a quick tutorial on how to use this uh, Expert Pro battery monitor. So right now I have it set for percentage. The left and right arrows are really what's going to be interesting for y'all. Um, first of all, this indicator up here looks like a battery and each of these lines indicates a state of fullness um, with 20% for each bar in there. So this is basically 100% full. Um, if we hit one over here, oh, it wants to light it up and then once to the left. Um, this is an estimate of how much time the battery has remaining, and this may not be accurate because we've never run a full charge-discharge cycle, but it's saying that um, based on the current consumption, that this battery pack will last 51 hours without being charged. Um, the next one is the voltage. I know we've talked about this a lot. A healthy state of charge is um, higher than 48 volts and less than 54.4 um, volts. So that'll typically 54.4 equals 100% charged. So this is just a little below that, hence the 97%. And this one is probably the most concerning for me as, a, as your maintenance guy is just to always keep this in check, um, but may not be the most interesting for y'all. That's probably the next one here, the amperage. This is really cool. Um, it's negative, meaning that it's currently drawing power. Um, 0 0.7 is its kind of 6.7 is its default state, and that's what's currently being drawn to power um, things like uh, headlights, turn signals, um, this little charger here, and probably most importantly, the uh, the DC DC converter that drives all of that is what's drawing this. Uh, we'll say high current, um, higher than what you'd expect. Uh, this number will go all the way up to 400 negative 400 amps at full throttle really cool. I just took it on 5th Street myself and I did a wide open and we got this number up to 400. So this is kind of like, you know, we don't have a speedometer, but this is as close as you can come to a speedometer. It's indicating how hard the accelerator is being pressed um, when it, it's in an on state. Uh, next, amp hours is another way of measuring how much energy has been used since it was last full. Um, and this is supposed to be a 100 amp hour pack. So we've used two amp hours or two percent since it's a hundred amp hours think of a hundred percent hundred amp hours so we've used two amp hours since it was last charged and that's probably because I just took it out and I used two percent of battery just taking it around the block um, and there's our percentage again so we start over with that um, so this number will continue to adjust it's an averaging function and so the more you drive it the more accurate it will become but right now it hasn't been driven much and so based on its resting state of charge it's estimating that, uh, that the number is going to keep going up. So that's a pretty how-to. Um, we can look up the, the guide here and go through the menu if you want, but for this video here, I wanted to stop it there. Take care. Now that you see how to use the TBS Expert Pro, let's talk a little bit about programming and installing this monitor. I actually got really frustrated with installing this monitor because there's very little, in fact, there's no discussion about use of a prescaler. If your battery voltage is above 35 volts, 36 volts up to 175 volts, you're going to need a prescaler. And two things bother me about this. One, there's no documentation about the need for a prescaler if the voltage exceeds 35 volts. And two, programming a prescaler into this monitor occurs all the way in section six of the programming. It should really be right up front. I think it should be 1.1, the very first thing you program in. Do you have a prescaler? For some reason, it's, at the, it's the very last thing you program in. And so I find this problematic. One of the other complaints that I have about programming it, and this is just a personal preference, is the properties with regards to my traction battery are towards the end, section five. And again, I feel like this should be section one or section two of programming right up front. If nothing else, let's program the properties of our battery. Uh, you know, all in all, now that I know how it works, would I buy it again? Yes, actually I would buy it again. I think it's a very useful monitor. It's very accurate and it helps quite a bit with understanding my battery pack. 
I'm hoping that videos like this will help you to avoid some of the pitfalls. If you're interested in seeing a video on how to program it, you can click here. If you are interested in seeing a video on how to install it or how I installed it, you can click here. I hope that you got something out of this. And while I have you, let me ask, please, would you hit that like button or better still hit that subscribe button? It costs you nothing, but it means everything to us. It helps others find our video in the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate you stopping by today. And until next time, this is Austin EV only.